Okay, welcome back to Tales of Drang Lake, everyone. Uh, getting back to my souls was pretty easy here. I warped to the other bonfire. Uh, but we also have another task of exacting revenge on that miracle caster who got the better of me, not gonna lie, but he's using some advanced ass spells. Speaking of... Speaking of getting my ass beat, uh, get the fuck out! What? Unbelievable! I got a little bit too carried away. Then I could have gotten the critical there again. No! 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 Yeah, task accomplished, uh, and 45k souls, let's go back, and uh, then we can go back to the other bonfire. Okay, let's put a couple of more points into Vitality 15, <clears throat> I think 15, <coughs> post coughing fit, but yeah, I think 15 should be okay, uh, yeah. Back to bright stone we go. I'm realizing I could have um, probably upgraded my weapon too. Because I've been getting titanite chunks, a couple at least. Whatever. It's not going to be the end of the world. We'll see what they do with this boss, but um, I'm still not expecting too much of a problem. Although if they really speed up this boss, it could be trouble. Because the Duke can get the better of you, even like normally sometimes. Well, it gets the better of me sometimes. But, you know, that is not indicative of anything. It's weird. I, it's so rare that I come down this path, like, normally, the way you're intended to. Normally you just drop down, but... There are a lot more enemies here normally. And annoying enemies, too. But maybe... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, these spiders are... Absolute motherfuckers. Speaking of... Are you kidding me? Because of that attack. There's a lot of them here, too. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna do what I usually do. Uh, skip. Okay, and I think the key yeah, is to drop down on this little path here. Uh, otherwise... You take a lot of fall damage, but yeah, what I was gonna say about these spiders is that they are unfortunately fitting predecessors to their Bloodborne counterparts in that they are incredibly <clears throat> annoying with their attacks, like they move and you take damage. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens here. Big spider. Of course the boss is gonna be a big spider, like... Let's see that shit coming a mile away. Alright, Dark Souls 2 ROM. Let's battle. What did they do to you? Still got the laser. Maybe nothing. Man, that would be convenient.
I have always liked the music here. It's like that classic video game spider music. It's got that vibe, you know. Sounds like a fucking Rayman too. <laughs> oh no. You guys remember when I played Rayman 2, the spider levels? But it is faster. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> okay. It moved, like, because this thing doesn't normally move. I I'm, I'm not gonna like this, am I? I can already tell. So you can make it through uh, the window, I mean the fog door at least. Uh, but what I was gonna say is... I don't know, there was nothing I was gonna say actually, now that I think about it. Still, this boss could be a problem. Uh, This with the increased adaptability can actually dodge through that laser. Which believe me is not possible a lot of the times. Maybe the tactic is just to be very patient. Let it vom all over the place. Seems to be better at moving out of the way. This is absolutely a... This is what I'm talking about. This is absolutely a boss you can wail on. Normally. Oh, come on. You gonna do it again? Yes, you are. I knew you were gonna do it this time. <clears throat> I swear that shit. Oh yeah, because this boss does that bullshit mechanic where you get slowed down like if you were in a swamp when you're near it for some reason. I don't know why. Do you see? Unbelievable. I think it has to do something with her legs. Because it doesn't always seem to happen. <laughs> the jump. That is not something you see uh, every day. Can I? Okay, no, no, I cannot hit you. Can you get fucked, please? Thank you. I'll take two attempts against this boss. Why not? Sometimes it takes me two attempts normally. So I ain't too mad. Look at the villagers coming in here. I killed your fucking spider. Now these guys are gonna enact revenge. Or not. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, wait, can I go into the dragon memories now? But no, that happens later, doesn't it? Pretty cool. This guy can only get parried. I like, I love how this area has a separate fucking like. Okay, maybe. Let's not let's not die to, like, out of all the enemies to die to, let's not make this one of them. Brightstone key, fragrant branch and dark quartz ring. The brightstone key has to be the one that goes to. Opens the door to Brightstone Cove. That has to be the one, right? That unlocks the door. It's gotta be. <laughs> Goofy. 
What up, Aldia? He looks badass. You gotta admit. Like, what even is he? I'm not gonna speed up his dialogue, because his dialogue is super awesome. This is like one of the best additions to this game, I swear. I'm gonna step back, I'm standing in the fire. Tell me about it. So I got the DLCs to go. I need to step into the fire to talk to him. the branches there. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm sure we're never ever going to fight. We're gonna be best buddies forever. Alright. Let's go back to Majula and uh, we can Use up. I have quite a lot of these boss souls. Uh, man, I really gotta. I don't wanna like start googling shit, but I need to look up where I will eventually be able to find some of the key items that I'm still missing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, go back on steel protection. I realized I've been wearing the <clears throat> the ring of binding, which I shouldn't have been. She's not exactly a talkative type, is she? Uh, let's get 25-25 and then um, start pumping up that strength. And... We can level up our weapons. Mm, I have quite a few chunks, actually. I'm gonna do the Uchi first. Shit. Actually, can I, can I upgrade the Uchi fully? It almost looks like I could. Uh, let me just check this shit out. Fucking awesome. This is good because the Uchi I am going to actually use. That is going to be one of my mains. So, awesome. We have a plus 10. We have a plus 10. Okay, I used up quite a few of my souls. Um, just the ones that I really know I'm not going to need. Uh, 
so we have a couple of more levels. I just want to get to this goddamn 35 strength, just so that I can later, like after that, leave strength alone, because it's not something I actually want to upgrade too much. But, yeah, we gotta get to it first. Okay, I'm gonna buy this, because why not? Look, clear her out. Get some more humanities. Yeah, let's go to the Shrine of Winter. Of course, as always, the good thing about this game is that if I do look up, which I think I'm gonna have to look up, where the coal, or I mean the dull ember and all that are. We can just warp there. Yeah, that plus 10 though. That plus 10. What was the other thing I was missing? Oh yeah, the key to Ornifex. <clears throat> it's probably behind one of the petrified statues in, like, further up here. But... That is such a... that is nice, because that is definitely an Ishin move. It is the Ishinest of Ishin moves. Because he does that jumping shit with his spear. What a boy. Alright, let's do this. I see the good thing about this game is that, I mean, this mod, with everything being slightly sort of faster paced, I don't feel the urge to... Oh, no, 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 oh, come on. I'm stupid. I forgot this straight up teleports you. I don't find the immediate urge to always wear the Chloranthi ring. Are you fucking kidding me? Is it really this impossible to see here? Uh, let's go back because we're going to get cold. Because normally I would say that Chloranthi is pretty much mandatory uh, for a Dark Souls 2 playthrough. Here it doesn't feel that way. Just because your adaptability is pumped up, I think. <clears throat> But yeah, one thing I always noticed with the characters in this game, like, no matter how, like, how you make your character, they always have, like, massive feet. Like, look at this dude, like, he's fucking size 45 or some shit. Ouch. I don't know. This makes them walk kind of goofy, too. All right, time for weather effects in three, two, one. There it is, now it's raining. Look at it, sort of bouncing off. Interestingly, there is no rain sounds. Uh, I'm pretty sure there used to be rain sounds here. Or am I stoned? There should be. Strange. Oh, this has a slab in it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, Bitch. Gotta remember to come back to that. This castle is isolated. But nonetheless, you must forge on. To bring an end to your journey and mine. Got you, fam. It is really weird without the rain effects. I mean the sound effects. Um 
did that really like irritate people? Because it didn't irritate me. <clears throat> oh well. It's not a bug, it's a feature. I assume the mechanic is still the same. I think so. Look at this dude. Whoa, okay, hello there. I don't ever ever remember this forlorn encounter. I'm gonna be honest with you. But there's a bunch of them, so it could be that on some playthroughs I've missed certain encounters. Is it going in there? No, it's going into me. Luckily, this is the shittier version of Forlorn, which uses that stupid, um, that stupid scythe. Okay, okay. Talk about a gank. Holy shit, he's... <laughs> Look at how quick he is. They're really hauling ass, that Forlorn. You shit, bitch. Um, yeah. Thanks for the Hume. Hey, you, come back. Come on. Don't run away. This way. No, you wanna. Alright, finally. Just checking. The other thing I've been like not getting, or I've been like missing, is more flask shards. There's like a strange lack of them. <clears throat> Could be just I'm missing them. I'm not gonna argue with that. It might very well be the case. Let's not go near Babar right there just yet. This guy has an insane amount of dialogue. Which I'm not sure I want to treat myself to currently. But you know. This is one of the potential item pieces. Maybe not the, the chest piece. But I think, maybe not even the leggings. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought this would work. But this is not, I'm just looking at it and it's not Ishin E. There's not a lot of stuff that's Ishin E in this game, that's for sure. I mean, this looks cool. Can't argue with that. It's heavy. Uh, what was I wearing? I don't even know. Oh, the foot soldier stuff. The edge, edgy, gla edgy gauntlets. Ishin is not wearing gloves, right? I don't think he is. Anyways, let's... I'm gonna go through this guy's dialogue. Yeah, this guy has an insane amount of dialogue. Good dialogue, though. Uh, not gonna lie. Oh, curved twin blade. Interesting. That's an anime weapon, if I've ever seen one. Oh, twenty k is actually not that expensive, so we might just have to pop pop back. They never do explain what this guy is, uh, because he's the only type like him to ever show up in the series like he's basically a ghost but it it seems like you know he's like stuck in time or something because sometimes he seems to be aware of the present okay other times he's just like he's just a confused boy not much more you can say god these guys have a lot more hp than before 
Which is good because they were kind of pushovers. Uh, and these guys don't look like pushovers. Ouch. But yeah, that 20k flask shard, just as I was talking about flask shards, shows up very conveniently. Is he not? I thought he was meant to be. Maybe he wakes up in the... Uh, he definitely wakes up in the vanilla game. Sorry, just checking my time. I didn't, I've done like good progress in the last couple of episodes. I'm feeling like this build is pretty powerful. And it's just going to get rounded out by York Spear and Avalyn. That's for sure. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we will pop... Pursuer's soul I'm never gonna need. And that should put us over the edge. Yep, let's just run back to him. I am just gonna get this. Thank you. And... Hey. Excuse me, with that, time to go back to Majula. Man, it's been long since I've heard that dialogue. Uh, yeah, we're gonna shard it up. And not shard it up, but shard it up. Is that... Is that where he is? God damn it. See, I knew this guy... Uh, I knew I did the right things. That he should have moved. He's just been hiding over here with emo guy. This guy has the best accent. <clears throat> Anyways, um, let's see what he has. Reinforced club, wooden shield, thief set, leather miniature. This is just, this does nothing. What a fucking grifter. I respect it though. Yeah, cool. Got the gesture too. Boss, don't waste my time. What do you want? What do you mean? Like, I bought shit from you. Oh, this guy. He's just staring out into the sun. What? Man. Is that all my deaths? I think that's only my deaths. Which means we finally have an accurate counter. 27 deaths? Seriously? Does that feel like a lot to anyone else? Yeah, you really gotta look around this place because they they move the NPCs all over, so... It's not as simple as it used to be. Yeah, like I said, I still think it's impossible to get down to the door unless you set up a ladder with him. Nothing new. Cool. Sometimes you just gotta do a quick little round here in Majula. Cat. Forgetting she has new dialogue sometimes. Why not trot along to the castle and meet the king? Long ago he smelled just like you. Not so much anymore though. <laughs> I don't even remember this dialogue. Animals do love that gross shit, though. They'll eat anything. Alright, cool. Yeah, nothing new. Excellent. Alright. So, I think... I don't even remember when I started this episode. But I think we've been going for 30 minutes. Or so. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up uh, today's little adventure here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tales of Drang Lake. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe. 
turn on post notifications and yeah i'll catch all of you next time peace out and goodbye